Hey, who's in the mood for a Wednesday show? Most Americans have a less than favorable view of the U.S. economy. Who cares? The economy's in the toilet. 50 former national security professionals, each of whom worked in Republican administrations past, say they cannot support Donald Trump. I'm also raising your taxes to the tune of hundreds of billions of dollars a year. It's time to begin the show. Hi, everybody, and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. On October 21st, David Bowie's final three studio recordings will be released to the public for the first time. The tracks entitled No Plan, Killing a Little Time, and When I Met You will appear on the cast recording of Lazarus, Bowie's off-Broadway show that ran in New York from December 2015 through January 2016 and ended shortly after Bowie died of cancer at the age of 69. Benicio Del Toro is in talks to star in The Predator, a reboot of the Predator film franchise that launched back in 1987. The original Predator starred Arnold Schwarzenegger, Carl Weathers, and Jesse Ventura as a commando rescue unit stalked in a jungle by an alien hunter. A Vermont town has struck out in its attempt to bring home the bacon. Kevin Bacon, that is. Battlebro Vermont wanted the actor to visit for its third annual Bacon Fest. Kevin Bacon replied Monday in a video he won't be able to make it to Bacon Fest because he's filming in Vancouver. He says he appreciates the hilarious effort that went into trying to get him there. The Battlebro Area Chamber of Commerce had launched a social media blitz inviting him to Saturday's event. Residents and even a U.S. Senator have been photographed with a life-sized cardboard cutout of him called Flat Bacon as part of the campaign. Hillary Clinton's personal doctor is here with an update on her physical condition. Good morning, everyone. I am Secretary Clinton's longtime physician. I just got done examining her. She was pale, gaunt, tired looking, bags under the eyes, dark circles under the eyes, sounding hoarse. In other words, same as always. That's all. No questions. Yes, Hillary Clinton's health continues to be the conversation. Have not seen Republicans this interested in a woman's health since Monica Lewinsky got tonsillitis. Home Depot founder Bernie Marcus says the country will go down the drain if Hillary Clinton is elected. He added if she is, Home Depot will have a huge sale on drain cleanout items on aisle five. Cleveland Browns quarterback Robert Griffin is out for the season after he broke his shoulder in Sunday's game. The team announced that Josh McCown will be the next victim. I I mean quarterback. Scientists recorded dolphins having a conversation just like people. As you'd probably expect, most of the dolphins' conversation involved how pissed they are to be associated with the worst team in the NFL. Two major Canadian fertilizer producers have agreed to merge. I don't know. Something about this just doesn't smell right. Nearly one-fourth of voters say that the presidential debates may make up their minds for them. That's scary to think that America's future will hinge on those that can stay awake. Apparently, in the 80s, Prince recorded an album as his female alter ego. Her name? Michael Jackson. The Guns N' Roses reunion tour has grossed over $117 million. And Kevin James has a new sitcom. My point? America loves fat guys. Gina Davis says the Exorcist TV series will be the scariest television show ever. Clearly, Gina has yet to see an episode of I Am Kate. A two-year-old boy was found in the middle of the night driving his battery-powered car down the middle of a street. He was wearing a diaper and gray jogging pants. Whoa, put a goatee on him and you've got my Uncle Earl. Time for Nobody Gives a Chris Brown sat down for the national anthem during a charity basketball game on 9-11. Even worse, after the game was over, he took the Staten Island Ferry out and punched the Statue of Liberty in the face. Hey, idiot. Nobody gives a fuck. Saturday Night Live has hired three new cast members. As usual, they scoured the country for the three funniest people they could find, then hired three other people. Hey, SNL, nobody gives a fuck. 
and John Hinckley Jr., who shot Ronald Reagan to impress Jodie Foster, is out of prison. So I guess now the question is, who's going to break the news to him about Jodie Foster? Hey, crazy guy, nobody gives a fuck. Thanks, everybody. We have a new episode of The Reynolds Report for you every weekday. Be sure to check out NSS Live, starring Frank D'Angelo and his celebrity talk panel featuring hockey legend Phil Esposito every Tuesday and Thursday right here on NSS.